Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for checking this video out. Just want to talk to you really quickly about why I sold my Galaxy S2 and uh, jumped at the opportunity to get this HTC One S on T-Mobile US. Uh, again, I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly, but just want to run down some key points. The first is the Galaxy S2, again, great phone. Uh, nothing particularly wrong with it, not a, a real bad phone, but uh, one thing I can say is that TouchWiz just wasn't an impressive uh, feature. I know that I've had, you know, probably my previous three devices were HTC phones, so I was familiar with HTC Sense and uh, enjoyed that and decided, you know what, let me try out uh, TouchWiz, let me try out the Samsung products because everybody talks about them as sort of the the only way to compete with the, the iPhone and what I found was that it wasn't really true. I mean, at least not for me. Uh, I, I think that there was not really anything that uh, TouchWiz added to Android, and so they should have just stuck with stock Android. And so an S2 with stock Android would be really, really great. Um, but it didn't have that. It had TouchWiz, which, again, wasn't bad, just wasn't at all impressive. The other thing that I noticed about it was that there was a kind of a call, phone calling bug and a, a menu button issue that I've I found. I know I talked to several people and they experienced the phone calling one, which is you might be dialing a number, you know, going into your contacts, pushing the call button, and it just wouldn't dial. It would sit there, it would freeze, you wouldn't be able to push back, you wouldn't be able to push search, you wouldn't be able to push home button, nothing. It would just sit there. And then maybe, you know, 10 seconds later, all of a sudden the call goes through. And that happened a lot, so that was very frustrating. And then the menu button for me, sometimes when I tried to reach over and press it, and felt like I pressed it, actually the phone would come up, so that was kind of annoying. Um, the other thing is that the, you know, using the features such as Wi-Fi calling and hotspot just was a chore. It wasn't simple, there wasn't an icon or a widget um, available like on uh, HTC Sense, and so that made it uh, just just not a, a good idea for average, the average user and for an experienced user like me, just cumbersome, you know, uh, unnecessary. So that was a drawback but that again brings me into why I really love this device which is uh, it's you know really the HTC phone that I've been looking for for a while and, and that I think that they missed the opportunity on to make with the Amaze uh, I really chose you know one of the big factors between me choosing uh, the, the S2 over the Amaze was the size and the bulkiness of the Amaze. I mean, it just was very, very heavy. I can't imagine putting that in my pocket every day and, and just lugging it around, whereas the S2 it had the uh, bigger screen, but it was much lighter, so it didn't, you know, thinner and lighter, so it just didn't feel as bulky of a phone. Uh, this HTC One S beats both phones on all those areas. I mean, it's slimmer than even the S2. It's lighter than the S2, but it still has that solid uh, metal high-end phone feel that the Amaze had, and so uh, it's kind of the best of, of all three worlds. Um, so a lot of people might be you know, surprised to hear that it's it's lighter than the S2, being as though the S2 is made of plastic, but this one is, is metal, but it, it's true. Um, the other thing is the S4 processor, even though it's still a dual-core 1.5 gigahertz processor, this S4 processor takes uh, takes it to another level. If you do the quadrant reports and, you know, maybe look up some quadrant uh, runs from some other people online, you'll see that, you know, it's averaging about 5,000 on a quadrant and, and it can even go above. So this processor is really, really snappy. Uh, the other thing I would say that uh, HTC focused on in this one was the, the, inst the camera. You know, HTC has been for the last couple of years, really, really building great, great cameras into their phones, and this is no different. This is actually, you know, even better than the Amaze camera. So taking pictures is even quicker, and uh, being able to shoot video and take pictures at the same time instead of having kind of flip-flop with the button, uh, it, you know, it kind of sounds trivial, but believe me, once you start using it, it's a definitely a great feature. Uh, another thing that I'll point out is that with the Beats Audio, you know, a lot of people talk about that, Beats by Dre, blase, blase, blah, and it's, you know, a nice feature, it does provide some some good sound, however, it's nothing that's going to knock your socks off. I know I tried to do a lot of research and even talk to some of my DJ friends who really use Beats Audio headphones, and there was never a, a resounding, you know, um, you know, positive review of them. There was people who, you know, use them who like them, but there was nobody that, you know, swore by them, and that's sort of the same thing with the audio on the phone. It's it's pretty good, uh, does sound good, but there, there's nothing that's going to really, like I said, uh, you know, knock your socks off. So, um, 
that's one thing I'd say about that, uh, which really brings me into to talking about Sense 4.0. Um, uh, I know for me, again, choosing this phone was great, uh, or really having it available, you know, was great because, you know, ice cream sandwich now is, is, is great. I don't have to wait for any over the air. I don't have to, you know, wonder whether my phone's going to get the update. I don't have to, you know, go on XDA and try to download something that might damage my phone. I got ice cream sandwich right here, right now. And so that was a big thing. And some people speculated that Sense would ruin it, but I think that there's definitely some things that, as opposed to TouchWiz, that Sense 4.0 definitely adds. And um, the first thing is, again, with Sense, people have complained about it being kind of bulky, kind of, you know, uh, kind of gets in the way. And that doesn't happen here on Sense 4.0. You still get your beautiful widgets, you know, and, you know, no, no pun intended. I'm not talking about the app. I mean, you know, as you can see, this clock here, I mean, that's... That's the the HTC clock and and weather app that everybody or weather weather widget I'm sorry that everybody loves and um, you know that that's still in there you still got your lock screen let me just kind of hold on one second I gotta unplug it because I have it on stay awake one second so you know you've still got your lock screen with your your ring that you can drop those icons in there which again is a great thing to have in your your lock screen that you didn't have with TouchWiz uh, and that you don't have with stock Android so um, I'll try to show you really quickly a let's see if it'll let me do face detection oh, there it is so barely needed to even show my face and it it did the face detection so that's again the ice cream sandwich um, bonus but uh, Sense does. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna plug this back in. Uh, <clears throat> so, Sense 4.0 is very responsive. As whereas before, you know, you might have seen some lag. That doesn't happen here. I mean, this is this is great. Um, it also has some some different little add-ons that again improve upon the ice cream sandwich. So if I come down here and touch the um, the ma app manager icon. Where on ice cream sandwich, it simply simply pulls up a list, and you gotta kind of swipe left or right to take them off, which is fine. On this one, I can it brings up these sort of um, folders, if you will, and you can swipe them up. And I, I like this a lot better. You can see what you're removing and see you know uh, what you are doing if you kind of want to tap into it and get back out. So I personally prefer this look over the uh, the stock. Uh, ice cream sandwich so that's one thing contact management as well when compared to the Samsung is is, is world's better um, I can show you really quickly one second context manage context so when I come into manage context as you can see here you've got the options of copying context importing context but this is a uh, a thing that's really cool. It's got deduplicate context. So if you have a lot of the same context, which can happen when you're kind of compiling uh, contact lists over the years and saving them online in multiple places into your phone, to your SIM card, and all this good stuff, um, you can actually go in there and deduplicate uh, those contacts. So that's a big feature. Merging contacts is something that's happened in Sense before, but uh, again, the contact management one sense is is improved and I definitely appreciate that um, another thing that I'll show you is if you go to a uh, website like let's this is a CNN page you know sometimes you go you've got all these flash that needs to pull up you know pictures videos all this good stuff uh, that can slow down the loading of the page but also kind of get in your way of actually using the phone so, or using the yeah using the phone so if I come up here you see it says read if I tap that now all of a sudden I just have an all text page which loads fast and which I don't have to worry about any of that other stuff I can just enjoy the, the article that I'm trying to read uh, so these are like I said minor things seemingly but as you use the phone they do become uh, you know a big help and, and they do uh, become noticeable uh, as opposed to regular uh, touch whiz or even stock uh, Android the other thing that I'll, I'll mention is that with the improvements in ice cream sandwich and, and sense 4.0 you get uh, on this phone, about 12 hours of normal usage, and so I tried that out the other day. You know, made a few uh, phone calls for you know a couple of hours of phone calls worth, a lot of texting, a lot of internet, you know, Facebook, all that kind of stuff, and got about 12 hours out of it. So 
uh, I thought that was pretty, pretty good. I mean, particularly, uh, you know, that's more than your work day and, you know, plus, plus some more. So you should get through a day fine. Um, particularly, like I said, if you're not a high end and heavy user, uh, like somebody like me, uh, I know another app that will really help you out uh, even further is Juice Defender, which I've mentioned before in my videos. So if you add Juice Defender on here, which generally just about doubles your battery life, I mean, you're talking about almost having uh, the Motorola uh, Razor, you know, battery life on your phone. So uh, that's that's a big thing. So last thing I'll just mention is, as you can see here, uh, if you watch the unboxing video, I now have a red case, which you know, red again is my favorite color, so uh, I was glad to get that. Um, got a zag protector on here, as always, always making sure that I protect my phone. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, just let me know. And uh, keep liking this and keep watching. All right, thanks.